I've been hiding behind. I don't have equipment, so I can't hit. Oh, I have bats? Right there, yes, sir. What? There you go. Let's go. It is a well-known fact that I hate hitting and I'm terrible at it. It's embarrassing to have people watch me hit. If you wanna watch me hit and be entertained, you're gonna to have to hit that subscribe button right now though, so you don't miss this content or any future content here on Momentum. So do that, we'll pause the video for you. All right, so after last week's snafu with my bullpen and stuff, I've now confirmed that I do in fact have an extra day this cycle, which means today's a great day to do nothing. Since I slept like crap last night and I have an extra day. So I'm gonna take a complete off day, kind of. I should go rabble rouse with some teammates. I heard, you got, I heard you got smoked yesterday in a pen. Oh, I got absolutely drilled. I won't, I won't throw who did it under the bus because that's not the kind of guy that I am. But yeah, just, you know, standing in on a bullpen trying to be a good coach and just took one, took a heater right in the back. What do we got, what do we got over here? What's going on? What, what is this? <laughs> this is on Bauer's camera. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's a good look. You won't pitch like that. <laughs> are we circling or what are we doing here? I was so rattled yesterday trying to figure out what a reliever's routine was like. I was like, when do I get ready? Yeah. I also don't have gloves or a bat or a helmet. Every time I swing, I feel like I'm going to tear my UCL. What's up, Joe? What's up, TB? What's up? What's up? It is St. Patty's Day and we have these hats, which is cool, and socks. I don't have socks for some reason. But uh, custom unis for different days are back, which is cool. Where's this helmet that I'm supposed to have? Aha. It's devastating. Now I have to hit because I have a helmet. In search of batting gloves. How's the helmet look? Does it, do I look hitterish? I don't feel hitterish. I'm gonna slip on this floor. Do we have batting gloves anywhere? Yeah, what size do you need? Uh, large, I think. I don't know. Do I need a what? Bat. Oh yeah, I could use a bat. I don't have a bat. That's the other thing I need to hit. I've been hiding behind. I don't have equipment, so I can't hit, but I feel like I need to hit, so. I have bats? Right there, yes sir. What? There you go. Let's go. There you go. Genuine. Oh, we got blue. I'll take, uh, can I do both? Absolutely. Do one, one blue and one, is that legal? All right. Now I feel like a hitter. I have all the equipment. All right. Bunt some in the cage, hit on the field. Fair compromise. Doc, how do I look with a bat in my hand? How do I look? Hitterish? You know what the thing is, man, is that you look like such an athlete on the mound, but right there with the helmet, I just don't see it. It's terrible, right? I feel so bad about myself because it's like I'm surrounded by people that can actually get hits and I can't. My elbow feels like it's going to pop every time I swing a bat. Can we get a universal DH anytime? Yeah. What does it mean if I feel like I have to have Tommy John after every swing? All right. Got to get this on film. Bat's probably going to fly out of my hand. Are we swinging already? Oh, this bat feels so light. I like it. Ah, <laughs> my elbow. Oh yeah. Got to get it out front. Oh, what am I doing? My elbow didn't hurt though. That's good. Okay, two more. My hand hurts now. Ow. Oh yes. All right, I'm done. I'm out. I got the pine tar now, so we're good. I come up all the time instead of getting down. Oh. Oh, we're good? Done? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm done. Good, What's that? Oh, I'm bunt? I mean, I probably should bunt. Probably should do more of that than hit. Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, what am I doing? Come on, focus. Nope. There we go. There we go. Now I gotta go to first effectively and we'll be good. Okay, now the question is what to eat. What is there to eat around here that I can get quick? Cause I'm hungry. I have a meeting. This is Wednesday. So Wednesday is the day that we have all of our company meetings. I've missed two so far because during season and spring training and stuff, I can't be a part of all of them, but I have, one more that I'm gonna be part of at 3.30, which I'm excited for. And then I have to figure out why Google Sheets is messing up my spreadsheet because I woke up this morning and my daily dashboard that I'm so proud of is all ruined and I didn't do anything to ruin it. <sighs> Technology. It's so great when it works and then it's just so frustrating when it doesn't. March Madness is upon us and I'm excited. <sighs> Gotta get to the field and get that done so I can watch all the games. 
Another announcement for today, this shirt that I'm wearing, many of you have seen it and have asked about it. It is now up on the website, up on my website, trevorbauer.com. So if you like the shirt or the Outwork workout shirt that I've been wearing, that is live on the website. You can go get yourself one, trevorbauer.com. Who's your national champion, Fort? I like Baylor. Baylor? Yeah, I like Baylor. Who's your national champion? You sure. say Gonzaga? Gonzaga all the way. Blake, who's your national champion this year? Gonzaga. Gonzaga, okay. Lots of Gonzaga fans. I want to say Baylor because everyone is saying Gonzaga. I don't think either one of them wins it. As long as someone other than Carolina wins, I'm good. Joe, who's your, who's your national champion this year? Gonzaga, Gonzaga. Everyone's saying Gonzaga. I didn't fill one out either. It's a fake season, so next time there's a real season, Duke will win. This thing's about to pop. So I'm really liking this hat. Uh, got power outage there, logo there. Got the little guy right there. The only thing that kills me at this time of year is freaking Carolina blue colors. And I hate Carolina. I hate them. I can't believe that I'm wearing Carolina blue colors come March Madness time on my head. Makes me sick. So it's in between games of March Madness and I've been reading a lot of the comments on the vlog recently and I wanted to answer some of the questions that y'all have. One, this hat. So this hat is part of my sponsorship with Lids. I actually have another one that I've been wearing a lot right here. I got a couple more and these are just prototypes, but very soon you all will be able to get some at your local lids store so stay tuned for that let's see what's it like meeting your new teammates and coaches do you get introduced to everyone individually there's no like formal introduction ceremony where everyone gets together and goes around and says hi i'm trevor it's nice to meet you i walk in and everyone's there just kind of doing their thing and it's kind of on me to go up and say hi i'm trevor it's nice to meet you or for them to come up and say hey trevor it's you know nice to meet you i'm so and so there's just a lot of people going on so that process takes a while for me uh, but there's no formal introduction do you feel any pressure extra pressure or obligation to always be on time or be on your best behavior when you're starting with a new team especially in spring training uh, to be on my best behavior i'm always on my best behavior obviously you guys know that however to be on time uh, absolutely because you're making a new impression on the coaching staff on the, you know all the people i just mentioned the new players everybody like that so if you come in and you show up late for some things it's like oh who's this guy think he is what do you do during spring training games that you don't pitch in do you end up staying for some some or most of the game or do you leave early it's different for every organization but normally players would go to the game the home games um, this year <clears throat> we are not allowed to be in the dugout if we're not playing due to covid restrictions so it's a bit tough because i haven't even gotten to see any of my teammates play or like learn the dugout culture the first time i'm going to see that is probably our exhibition series against the angels that's coming up here uh, very shortly. What are most players living situations like during spring training? Do players, maybe some of the minor leaguers, sleep at the complex? Now, no, I've never seen a player sleep at the complex. What happens is players either get live out money or they get their hotel room paid for. Uh, the team will have a team hotel, so they'll be able to, if a player wants to stay in the hotel, this is what a lot of the minor league guys do, then the team will provide them a hotel room. Or you get a certain stipend for live out money, you can get a hotel room with that money, you can stay wherever you wanna stay, you can live with other guys, you can live alone. Um, so it's really kind of flexible, especially for guys in big league camp. Those are really the two structures. You got live out money or you got a hotel provided for you. And I'll try to answer more of your questions uh, in future vlogs. So keep asking away. One additional update that I wanted to provide you is that this vlog will be moving to my personal channel, Trevor Bauer, uh, go ahead and search it, subscribe to that channel right now so you don't miss this vlog when it flips over there. I'm gonna have about two vlogs a week coming out during the season, detailing travel and play and sentiment of the team and interviews with people and a lot of great content. So if you don't wanna miss it, go subscribe to my channel right now. We'll put the link in the description. It is start day against the Mariners again, so looking to rectify my last mistake of walking the house. However, I woke up to this really, really cool thing that Fuzzy sent me. So shout out to Fuzzy for this. Check out this clip from MLB The Show. Gotta grab some food, do my measurements, and get over to the stadium. Run a little bit behind today. There's some traffic on the freeway. First time this spring packing up my locker to go on the road and it's just pure panic mode the entire time because you're like well I don't remember all the things that I usually take because when you're at home you just go to your locker and you're like oh yeah I need to do this and you just grab it but you can't do that on the road because if you don't bring it then you don't have it and now the dilemma is how I'm going to fit all this stuff in my car to go over to 
Peoria. See you guys over there. Training staff has my weighted balls, has my shoulder tube, and all my post game recovery stuff. Huge of them. Shout out to those guys. They do a great job. And now we're going to try to play arrange luggage in the McLaren. Alright, luggage is there. Check that out. Pretty sick backpack. So parking here at Peoria is not the best. I am parked right behind the center field fence. So uh, if a home run gets hit, hopefully it doesn't drop directly over. If it does, I'm in trouble. So uh, first left burger. Thank you. Have a good game. Thank you. Okay, okay. I don't think I've ever been in this visiting clubhouse before. Pick a locker. We'll go end the locker. How's it going? Pretty good contact guy. 2-2 two, two, right there. Call strike three. That ball came right back over the plate. Strike three. 2-2 two, two pitch. Got him swinging. And a pitch to Moore. Blew it. Passed it for strike three. 3-2 three, runner goes. And strike three called. He got him. Bauer with his fifth strikeout. Okay, really positive night. Well, I went out for five innings. I think I got four and a third. Uh, ended up giving up five runs. Three homers. Leaving a dent in the batter's eyes. No walks. I think I punched out six or seven, but that all came in the fifth inning when I was just out there just trying to fill pitch count. First four innings was really good. Stuff felt really good. Command felt really good. Sequenced some stuff well. Actually read hitter body language and executed some pitches. So really happy with tonight overall. We got one more spring start on getaway day. And I think that my car escaped without getting hit by any home run balls. But I'm not sure because it's dark and I can't see dents, but we're going to hope that it escaped.